Hello, this is a series of videos where I'm talking about the look at functions in Unreal, and this first one is about the simplest of them, the find look at rotation function. To use this function, you just need a start location and a target location. So in this case, I'm getting the location of the actor where this function is in and the actor location of a target. Then I pass it to the find look at rotation and set actor location, uh, rotation, sorry, with this new rotation. Let me show you what that does. This is the actor where that function is in. So it's going to look at its target. Its target is the cone here, which is this actor. So it's always going to point at the cone. Let's simulate. So as you can see, its X axis is already pointing towards the cone. And as I move the cone, let me turn off snapping, it follows the cone around. No matter where I move it, I can make it be upside down. So that's what the find look at rotation does. It doesn't offer you a ton of control. Like for instance, what if I wanted to have the Y axis or a Z axis point at the cone? This function doesn't do that. Other functions do, this one doesn't. This is the simplest one. It's always going to make the x axis of your actor point toward the target. If the axis of your the x of your actor is not what you want, like let's say I wanted the cone to always have its tip pointing towards something. Its tip is at its z axis. So I wouldn't be able to use the find look at function for that. Unless I put the cone inside something. There, like this is a workaround. You can put the cone inside as a child of something rotate it to point towards that actor's x-axis and then it's always going to be pointing towards something. And as a matter of fact, let's do that just to show you. So I'm going to attach it to the make root actor, which is that one. Zero its location, rotation, and make it point towards that way. So that is a way, so now this actor is still using the look at function and the cone is inside it just being used for visual representation. But that's a huge workaround. Sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you want to like rotate the bones of a, of a skeleton towards something and the X is that you want to rotate towards the target is not X. So in other videos, I'm going to talk about that. This one last thing about this function is that it's always going to try to make, let me delete this guy. It's always going to try to make Z point up in the world so it's gonna really try that like if i point it almost a hundred percent down you can see the z is pointing up and then if i flip it's always gonna try to make z point up i do this z is never gonna point down below the horizon so that's what look at do makes x point, point towards the target. It gives you a rotation that makes the x of the rotated object point toward a point toward the target. And z always tries to align with the up axis of the world.